Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 69. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> um, I'm filming in another angle today, and the camera's still shaky. I gotta work on that. <laughs> but um, I moved my craft room around just a little bit because I needed uh, better access to my yarn the last few days when I was organizing. So I just kind of have the table pushed up against another wall. But I went ahead and like, decorated a little bit back there and that Norwal's in the way I just noticed that <laughs> oh well it doesn't matter you guys know who I am but um yeah so I've got some finished objects to share today I've got a big pile of whips and I've got uh acquisition to show off and yeah I don't know what else <laughs> but I'm gonna hop on into it I have let's see here two finished objects that I can't show you because they've already been gifted one was actually finished object last week and it was the heart I will pop up a picture of it in just a minute and then the other one is the owl let me get to the heart first okay the heart that I finished last week and couldn't show you because uh, it was fixed up as a gift is the you'll be in my heart coasters um, by a name I can't say <laughs> but it'll be links below I made it for my Valentine's Day um, swap partner who and she's already received it so and it was Melanie from Stitch to Malu but uh, this is the heart that I made I'll pop it up and then this is how I decorated it for her I added uh, three stitch markers onto it that I made myself little heart ones and uh, I put it in a little bag I can't remember what those bags are called but I got it from somebody in a gift I think or an exchange or something and I saved it um, and I'm glad I did because I used it for this <laughs> and I think it turned out super cute and she could use it as either a coaster or just a decoration thing and of course to use the stitch, the stitch markers as stitch markers <laughs> but it's super quick easy pattern I loved it but that was from last week so the uh, finished object from this week that I couldn't show you is another thing for her <laughs> and it was sent along in the package with her and it is the owl owl like the bird always love you um valentine caddy by holly's hobbies i finished it and i took this little video clip i'll pop it up um i finished it earlier <laughs> last week maybe like the middle of last week and i knew that i would be mailing it before i get to i got to film so i went ahead and just filmed this little clip to show it off i think it turned out pretty cute i uh you know it's not perfect i messed it up a little bit but you know it's homemade it's not supposed to be amazing <laughs> it's supposed to be you know it's supposed to look homemade i guess <laughs> but she loved it so that's that's what counts and i did stick a little chapstick down in the pocket um to send to her and then my last finished object is a uh, square to jada and stitches 2017 calendar blanket i started it before she even mentioned her 2019 one and um there's a 2018 one also but it was just a bunch of different stitches in different rows but her 2017 one was the um different themed squares and there's 12 of them and there's one every month but i'm not doing them on a month to month basis i'm just doing them you know i finished the first three in january i've showed the snowman one and the valentine's day teddy bear so this last week i finished the march one which is uh, saint patrick's day themed and now i finished this at like midnight one night i was sleepy i should have went to bed because i finished the square upside down this little seam part <laughs> i should have put it down here so that it would be covered up by the shamrock and the rainbow i kind of took some shortcuts on it and it looks you could tell <laughs> you could tell i took some shortcuts but i'm making this blanket for myself so i don't think it has to be perfect i think it's adorable anyways but uh yeah i did make sure when i made it i was afraid the square was a little bit smaller than the others but i did lay them up against it and they are the same size this one's actually made different. The first two are made with a circle at first and then turn into a square. This one starts out, starts off as a square. And the colors on it are just uh, Red Heart Super Saver, everything. White, light blue, uh, spring green. This is forest green or hunter green. I think it's hunter green. And then these are uh, hot red, pumpkin. <laughs> bright yellow uh, spring green light blue and this up here is amethyst and then the clouds are white again also I think it turned out cute I'm getting pretty good at sewing on appliques without the string showing in the back um, Jada explains how to do that in the first video of these and I've gotten pretty good at it so now you know I don't have to worry about having to cover up the back like I did with some of my snappy top patterns because they're hidden but they're sewn on there good actually winged the um 
Shamrock. This isn't her pattern. <laughs> she had a link to it in the description of this pattern. And I just, I, instead of clicking it, I just, I was like, I can do that. So I did that. And I think of the pattern, this right here is supposed to be black, but I didn't want to go get black. I just went ahead and used the same green as the Shamrock. So I think it turned out cute. And I cannot wait to finish this blanket. I'm just going to keep it myself, put it on in my couch to be used. Because uh, I love my own blankets being around. But yeah, so... I am what, a fourth of the way done with this blanket. <laughs> I also did start her 2019 blanket and I'll show you that as I come to it uh, in my pile of whips because you can't see it but right here there are four whips piled up and I'm thinking they're all new whips. I only have three written down so one of them may be a surprise to me. <laughs> I can't remember what it is but I'm just going to grab this first one. I don't even know what's in here. I think I know what's in here but I'm going to have to open it and see. Aha! This is a seagull. This was a pattern that was gifted to me. I can't remember if it was for my birthday or just because or whatever, but Cindy um, Kennedy, not Kennedy, Cindy Kinney sent it to me. And oh, right here, this stitch marker that I'm using, let me hold my place. This is the same kind of stitch markers, oh my gosh, I can't get it, <laughs> that I made Melanie. Ugh. They're just little heart beads, glass ones. They were different colors and they came with these circular ones. Uh, on the same strand so I just used the whole strand to make I made her four three stitch markers and then I made the rest for me myself <laughs> and um, but anyways this is my little single that Cindy gifted me I had been wanting this pattern for forever but it was in a book uh, and I tried to find the book because I'd like to have all of the books actually because I love Emma Groomy um, it's what's it called Zoomer Groomy I think it's in book seven, but don't quote me on it. It's in one of them for sure. <laughs> and uh, so I just started it last night just because I wanted to be working on an amigurumi pattern. One, because I love amigurumi. And two, because I am working on filming the amigurumi videos that I've been talking about. And I need amigurumi to film them. So I need to have a few amigurumis going to show the different methods of stuffing them and all that kind of stuff. So this looks funny right now because I just, you know, it's, it doesn't look like a fl uh, flamingo seagull at all but the pattern let me say that real fast is scraps the seagull bird by kim a uh, big old name i can't say but I'll, it'll be linked below so this is what i got so far <laughs> this is going to be his head and he'll have you know beak and then he'll have little um wings and this is his tushy and uh you know it'll i'm imagining it'll close in like a kind of a round shape he'll have little feet and a little tail feather but I'm just working on the white part right now, and this is him so far. <laughs> I just, I just love single crochet all together. Like it just, it's so like uniform and it's so attractive. I think you can see my hand in there. But um, I just, I think it's one reason I love Emma Groomy so much because just the single crochet just looks so pretty together. This pattern is written in UK terms, so it says double crochet, but it means you know it, it translates to single crochet. But yeah, so that's his little butt. This was interesting because you start up here and you work down and then when you get to row, I think 23 it was, you actually chain out. It was 10. And then you start working around this chain and the body to make it wide enough to be the, you know, the torso part of the body. Really neat pattern. I can't wait to finish it. He's so he's, he's going to be so cute. I just love the picture and I can't wait to finish him. But I was actually worried that he would turn out smaller than the pattern because it calls for a G hook with um, worsted weight yarn and I used a worsted weight yarn but I went ahead and used elf hook because I like the tighter stitches and it's still pretty big so if it was G it would have turned out just a smidge bigger but it's going to be adorable and it's probably going to be I'm going to try to keep Jesse from stealing it and getting it all dirty but that's not going to happen because he, he takes everything but I'm going to have him definitely sitting around my house somewhere <laughs> but I think he's going to be so cute but yeah that's just Red Heart Super Saver White this is my skein. It's all falling apart. It's one of those jumbo ones that I've been using. I'm actually, after I finish him off, I'm going to wind it into a ball. Um, I'm just waiting to finish him off so I don't have to cut the yarn and then fix it. He's living in my um, Disney villain bag that I made. Let me stuff it back in there. I was working on that earlier today before we went and played some. Me, Devin, and Jesse. Throw my hook in there. All right. That is paper pattern. I don't know if I said that. It's in a book, but it's also all, uh, available on Ravelry to buy. All right, let's see what's in. This bag is another bag I made. This is actually one of the first bags I ever made. What's in here? Oh, okay, this is the um, Jaden and Stitches 
2019 calendar blanket by Jaden Stitches. And this is a free video tutorial on her YouTube page. So far she has two videos out for it. The first video is about all the yarns and hooks and all that stuff that you'll need for it. And the second one that came out yesterday, which was Monday the 28th, was the first part of the pattern, which is half of the base of the blanket. And I started it last night while sitting, um, watching TV with Jesse. We were in our mine and Devin's bedroom, uh, just chilling on the bed and watching cartoons. And I was crocheting and he was playing on his tablet and all that. So I had a scrap of Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's just called Blue. And I wanted to, I started it with it because I wanted to use that up before I got out a slightly larger scrap. This is like a half used um, hank. And it's kind of blown out because it's, 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 what time is it? It's 5.30, so the sun is set here, and it's, it's still a little bit of daylight outside, but not much. So uh, I wanted to film earlier, but life, you know. So <laughs> uh, I used up that first house scrap, and then I'm about to ta attach this scrap. And even if the color lots are a little bit different, I think that'll be okay, because I think this first section of dark blue is meant to be water. So uh, it's okay if it's different shades of blue, because water isn't consistent. But yeah, so this is it. <laughs> it's all double crochet back and forth. This first color, you have to do 20 um, rows of it. Let me fold it in half. And this is, I think, 12. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I was this close to finishing the 12th row when I ran out of that first scrap. So I will be attaching that other one and finishing that up maybe tonight while um, sitting in the living room. And I'm using, that's not what I'm using. What hook am I using? Oh, I heard it. <laughs> Where are you? All right, it's an eye hook, I think. 5.5, uh, uh, yeah. Just a 5.5. I've noticed that Jada uses, this is like the number one hook she uses. Almost all her blankets are uh, eye hooks. And a lot of her re other patterns are eye hooks. I guess she likes the uh, the larger ones. There. Yeah. So that's mine. Is, are you doing that? <laughs> I know, let's see here, Terry's doing it. I think Carrie said she might. Tammy said she might. There was a bunch of people said that they're wanting to start it. Some people said they've already got their yarn. Some people said they're getting their yarn. So yeah, it's going to be cool that we're all going to be doing it at the same time. So even though it's it's kind of a crochet along hosted by Jada, it's also going to be like a crochet along in everybody else's groups because if everybody else is doing it, it'd be cool to like see it all. But yeah, so I'll be attaching this floppy thing to it <laughs> and hope I'll probably roll this into a ball before I do because that's what I did with that first one. It was slightly smaller than this, the, the uh, other one, and I went ahead and wound it into a ball and then started working from it. So yeah, and that's in my candy corn bag that I made forever ago. It's like two years old. Let's see if it's all tangled up. Okay, I'll deal with it later. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> Whoops, and it just fell. That's okay. Let's see here. This Oh, this one I haven't started yet. This is also a bag that I made. But uh, this is not a whip yet. It's a future whip. So I'm not even going to talk about it just yet. I was wondering why there were four. That's why. I was, that's another fair project that I was going to get working on. And I um, I didn't actually start it yet. So I'm not going to. Alright, now this is a fair project. My heat just kicked on. So it's kind of loud. Let me get the ball band and the hook. Alright, this is a fair project for my county fair coming up this August slash September in a bag that I made. Another Pokemon bag. <laughs> it's using a G-hook. Yes, a four millimeter. This is a pillow and the category at my fair is the stuffed pillow category and it can be sewn or knitted or crocheted or anything like that. Um, and the colors that I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Light Blue because I have a ton of it. This is also going to be the sky color in my Jada blanket and I'm also using Karen Simply Soft Party and the white color, which I don't know what that's called. Let's see here. Snow Sparkle. <laughs> uh, and I'll also be using some other colors later. I did finish the first, the front panel of the pillow, except the border. I gotta do the border on it and weave in the ends and then the front panel will be completely done. So then I gotta make the back bottom panel, the back top panel, cause it's gonna be open so you can stuck, stick a pillow in there. And then there's gonna be appliques sewn onto the front one of like presents and stuff. I'll pop it up in a minute. It's gonna be big. <laughs> I think, um, I was supposed to see, well, the pattern calls for Karen, uh, party. Karen, what is it called? I don't forgot. Karen Simply Soft Party, the sparkly kind. But I wanted to use light blue because I have a ton of it and wanted to use it up to, and it's the sky color. For some reason on the pattern, the, the sky is green, but, um, I mean, it looks pretty, but I wanted to make it blue. 
and you'll be able to see when I hold it up that the white part is smaller than the blue part because our red heart is a chunkier worsted than Karen is Karen simply soft so there's definitely a size difference but I don't think it'll matter once I get a the border on and B get it all sewn together into pillow form it'll it'll all stretch out and look fine I'm not worried about it at all but this is the pillow so far <laughs> It turned out way bigger than I thought. So this is the top and this is the bottom. This is meant to be the sky and the ground and these little dots are the snow falling. And you can't see it, I don't think, but it is sparkly because it is the Karen Simply Soft Party. <laughs> Talking fast. And on the back, I, um, I floated it instead of, on the pattern it tells you to like lay it down and crochet over it with the blue, but I didn't want the white showing through. So I just floated it and I did cut it off a bunch of times <laughs> and just knotted it. That's the good thing about making amigurumi or pillows or something. When something's going to be on the inside, you can just tie knots and it counts as weaving in the ends. Woo! But yeah, I love this. It came out super cute, I think, with the sparkly snow because in real life it's sparkly and really pretty. But on this, the uh, phone, it's not very sparkly. <laughs> but yeah, see how the, um, the white is smaller than the blue it's just a little smaller I don't think you know it'll stretch once there's pillow in it I think it'll be perfectly fine and then I'll pop up a picture real fast of what it's going to look like when it's done just the colors will be different there's gonna be like some presents on it to look Christmassy you could really do anything you know any kind of Christmas scene you could put like a snowman or a gingerbread house or a big old Christmas tree and I might actually play around with that idea uh, once I get the whole pillow done I might make different appliques just to see which ones I like better instead of just presents or it'd be cute to put one of those little red trucks with a tree sticking out the back because those are huge the last two Christmases so I'm sure they'll still be popular this year but yeah I think this would be pretty cool and if I finish this before the end of February I can enter it into Dorob's, it's Nicole over at Dorob Creations, um, color work cow because this is color work. <laughs> and, uh, but I don't know if I'll have it finished by the end of February. I probably will because it's just now, February starts on Friday. So surely I can finish this in 28 days. <laughs> Maybe not though, I better not say that because I did start a lot of other whips. But uh, yeah, so this is my first fair project this year and I'm pretty excited about it because I love working on stuff for the county fair. And yeah. I need to say what that is. I didn't say what that was. <laughs> it's called the Cozy Christmas Cushion by Love Crochet. I couldn't find it on Ravelry to link it. It's only available, I guess, on their website. You can buy the PDF, I'm pretty sure, but it's also a free, like, written out on that website. They also have a matching blanket pattern. It's kind of expensive. It's $8.40 US dollars. Um, but I really want it. I'm thinking about buying it sooner or later to go with that and to have a cute um, Christmas pillow or blanket and pillow set. And I'm pretty sure the blanket does have a truck on it with the tree. <laughs> I can't remember now. It's been a while since I looked at it. But it is a matching set. It looks really neat. All right. That's all my whips, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right. Now that we got all my uh, finished objects and whips out of the way, let's see. What else do I got to talk about? I do have some acquisitions. I actually have a lot of acquisitions, but they're already put up. I got some yarn gifted to me by some people. I don't want to say their names because they may not want me to say it, but I got a lot of yarn gifted to me and I'm very appreciative of it and I can't wait to use a lot of it. <laughs> I've already got a lot of ideas and actually some of it, a lot of it will go towards the county fair project. So that's really neat. I'm looking really forward to ripping into some of them. <laughs> but I'm not doing it yet because I need to like not have a thousand whips at, at once. I need to stick to like at least five and under till I get some done. <laughs> but I wanted to, uh, I want to show you what I got for my Valentine's Day swap. I'm trying to get some of it. I think I have most of it here with me. A couple pieces of it are missing. One, the candy. All the candy's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and the stuff that was bought for Jesse, I think, is gone. I may still have the Rice Krispie. All right, I'll just go ahead. Anyways, it was the Valentine's Day swap hosted by Llama Mama, which is Kayla. And she'll be linked below. You definitely need to check her out if you don't know who she is, because she's awesome. She is a loom knitter, which is cool. And I totally, like, I'm in awe of the stuff that she can make, because I tried loom knitting many moons ago. And the, the only thing I could managed to make was a scarf and it had really bad holes in it big gaps and i was like yeah that's not gonna work so I'm, that's why i got back into crochet really heavily um although i love the loom knit hats and some of the things that people can do with them is crazy the, de the designs like um 
trying to remember that other channel. She doesn't hardly post anymore. I can't remember her name. It's been a while since I watched her because she does, she's not active. But she used to make the coolest hats and stuff. And then Kayla comes up and she's making all this crazy stuff. And she'll make patterns that are crochet patterns or knit patterns. And she'll make it on the loom. And it's just crazy. She actually did that with two things that I made. She saw and liked. So she made them. And one was the um, jellyfish that I made a few weeks ago. She made a bunch of them. And this, the other one was Jada and Stitch's 2017 calendar blanket. Uh, she liked mine and so she went and made her own version of them on her loom and she finished the first two so far I think the snowman and the the Valentine's Day bear but anyways this is what I got <laughs> this is a reusable shopping bag and it says you do not know how much I love you I love recyclable bags like this or reusable uh, she probably doesn't know that she probably just got it because it's cute but these are like all of them I have a whole bunch of this if they're cute I buy them and um, I use them a lot when we go shopping or thrift shopping and stuff like that and now that we joined sam's club i can use it there because they don't do bags either and all these don't do bags i mean they have bags but you have to pay for them so i love these and especially the cute ones and this one's adorable <laughs> i don't like donuts to eat them at all i'm not a big sweet person like that but i um i love to look at them <laughs> Ooh, i can't okay let's see here I don't know where to start. Okay, I'll start with the loom knitted thing she sent me. This is adorable, and I want to set it out of my house, and now I can since I'm filming. She made me this cute little, this little, ah, it's hot chocolate. And I just seen this on her Instagram, and I liked it, and I was like, oh, that's mine. I have it at home. But she had this cute little hot chocolate with marshmallows. Okay, let's just look. It's got cute little pink cheeks and eyeballs. These are safety eyes, and it's red. The color is coming off a little weird. It's got a handle. I love the two-tone hot chocolate. It's cool. It reminds me of like when you first pour it in there and the marshmallows start melting and it gets all different colored. <laughs> and the two little marshmallows with little eyeballs and a little heart button. It's so cute. <laughs> when I opened this, I was like, because oh, I opened the wrong end. She had it. It was like two packages taped together. And I opened the one without the card in at first. So uh, instead of looking for the card, I just went ahead and ripped into everything. And there was no way I was going to wait to open this on camera. Me and Jessie ripped into it as soon as we got home from the post office because I can't wait. I don't know what she put in here, but there's something in here to make it heavy so it sits up. It sounds like, like maybe a bag full of rocks <laughs> or something. And then it's stuffed. It's super cute. And now that this is out, I'm going to leave it out so that I can look at it and admire it all the time. And I need to put it somewhere where Jessie can't reach it because he'll rip that button off. All right, the next thing she got me. Jessie will steal this. I guarantee it. This will end up in Jessie's stuff, but she got me. Oh, <laughs> it's blowing out because of the white background. But it's a rubber duck unicorn. Super cute. Jesse used to love rubber duckies when he was littler. He had all kinds of them. And then she got me some Pocky. I haven't eaten these yet, but <laughs> I forgot about these actually. So these will probably eat later. Oh, and this too. This is ch chocolate. Jesse will eat this if he sees it. Chocolate. We did eat caramels. <laughs> and some kind of little koala thing i don't remember what it's called jesse ate them this was bought for jesse and i forgot about it until just now but it's a rice crispy she gave me two skeins knocking everything over of red heart super saver bonbon which is actually one of my favorite bonbon or bonbons <laughs> one of my favorite red heart var variegated I love bonbon and banana berry. I can't find banana berry in store anymore, which sucks because I love it. I mean, I know you can order it, but I don't like ordering stuff. But this is awesome. I have another, I have one of the jumbo skeins of this, so now I have enough to make something cool with it. <laughs> and in all actuality, it'll probably be uh, amigurumis because they're so pretty. I love them. Oh yeah, this hair. She bought me planner stickers too. But I already ripped in, I've already used a couple of them <laughs> on my planner all my planner stuff is behind y'all and i was planning uh next week yesterday so i uh i had them all out that doesn't go in there all right also in the package was she had everything wrapped up so cute too everything was wrapped individually and i actually saved one of the bags that didn't get ripped so i can reuse it to um give somebody else something and there were some little pins which one's already missing its lid a bath bomb in the shape of a unicorn you can't see it right but it's cute it's pink and blue and purple from where they mixed and it looks like it has glitter i think it has glitter bath bombs are always fun 
Here's the card she sent me that stuck out. Ta da, Emma. So, sending you a llama love. I'm probably going to frame that and keep that as like a picture. Oh, there's another pen. There's another pen. <laughs> also, this little rag or washcloth, whatever. It's one of those that when you put it in water, it like foam, you know, it on. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It comes back to life. I'm actually, I'm saving this because I wanted to show Jesse how it worked and then I just remembered that I forgot to do that. But um, I threw everything back in the bag so that I could film it before I, even before it got spread out all over the house. But I'm going to show him how to do that. And then she sent me two donut uh, hand towels, which is funny because I was actually looking at these the other day and wanted to buy them but didn't because I'm on a spending freeze. So now I got that one, and here's the other one. And this one says donut. I do not know a better Valentine. Mm, these are nice and cute. Oh, I love this one. I wish this was fabric. Like I wish I had fabric look like this. I would make project bags. Yeah, so that's everything. I think that's everything other than the stuff that got ate. She sent me some chocolate covered caramels and those little koala things and there was something else it was kind of like kind of like these but you like dip them in the pink stuff i think there's still some of those oh yeah and she also sent jesse some stretchy dinosaurs and this is the only one that is light and just happens to be laying here but they're stretchy i think there was like eight or ten of them and they're all over the place he's been playing with them um i think there's actually a bunch in his jacket pocket he's with devin right now over at his dad's house at devin's dad's house let me try to put all this back up so I don't mess it all up. But yeah, so uh, that's all stuff that I got from that swap. That was so fun. I love doing it. And I really hope, let's see here. She did one in February, so there won't be one in March. It'll be April. So the next one will be in April. I'm hoping I can do it. I don't know. I just have to see about um, our goals, our money goals. Yeah, I'm gonna try because <laughs> I love doing swaps. I love getting stuff that other people made and all, all the other treats are always fun But I, I think it's so cool to have stuff, you know, because I can make stuff all day long for myself But it's not as special as getting something that someone else made especially when they made it for you You know, they intended this to go to you. So I think that's neat to have like special things This is so cute. <laughs> I just love this little guy These little guys I guess because there's three of them. But yeah, so I'm gonna set that somewhere where I can look at it there's a piece of candy wrapper. <laughs> but that was my Valentine's Day swap stuff. This bag will get a lot of use. Kayla, I will be using it at Sam's Club and stuff when I go to get giant versions of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I love doing that swap and I, I'm looking forward to doing another one. I just don't know when I can do another one. <laughs> I also have some safety eyes laying here. I need to put up. Yeah, that's all my acquisitions other than I did get a lot of yarn and all these packages came the same day. I had to do two trips to the car, but I've already put it all up. I might try to show it in another video. I want to thank everybody for subscribing and I want to welcome all the new people. I've had quite a few new people lately and I want to thank all the original subscribers and anybody who likes and comments and shares and all that stuff. Uh, I just love it. And all the people who join the Facebook group. I love the Facebook group. I love uh, seeing everybody's posts and, you know, commenting on them and being able to be more interactive face-to-face -face instead of just me talking to everybody at once but not being able to get replies back other than comments. I think that's about everything for this episode. I can't think of anything if I'm forgetting it. I hope I'm not. The crochet along that I'm co-hosting with Mo from Unseen Strands is still going on. If you're interested in that, there's information about it. Uh, I have a video about it a few videos back you can go back and look at and I also have information about it on my Facebook group if you're a member of that or if you want to join it will be linked below and let's see here I'm going to be working on some more bag sets this week I've got some more llama material I'm going to be making six llama sets and I'm not holding them for anybody it's going to be first come first served so I will make them all and post them on my shop and then when they're gone they're gone and there's also going to be some Mickey Mouse ones and some Minnie Mouse ones just because I had already had some material. So I went ahead and bought the liner so that I could go ahead and just use that material up. So let's see, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There'll be probably ten sets around the weekend, this, this coming weekend, which is the first weekend of February. I'm actually going to start sewing them tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, you might want to go favorite the shop so that you can get notifications 
or join the Facebook group because I uh, I post on there like as soon as I upload them onto Etsy I go and share it on Facebook <laughs> there's there's a few bag sets on there right now if you're interested and yeah so I think that's everything in this video I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited and up and I gotta edit my tips video because it is late it's already almost six o'clock on Tuesday and I don't have it up but I'm, I got it filmed <laughs> I just gotta edit it so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you think someone else will like it share it and I'll see you in the next video bye guys